All right, this is Fat Me, man. March 7th, 2013. 25 degrees this morning. We're putting packages in. Been to South Georgia yesterday. We shook packages. We got good, strong packages. And we've got all these are nukes we're setting up. I'm going down here, like Steve, the cameraman, he's going to pan down the bee yard and we're going to do a step by step installation of the bee packing. Watch your trip now, Steve. <laughs> get too close get a wide shot where we can get all this on uh, we have Tommy one of my commercial students cameraman is Steve he's uh, one of the commercial students we're gonna put a packaging and I'm gonna put a packaging for cold weather what we want to do sprinkle the bees down with our sugar water what I want to do is take this lid off I'm gonna lay it to the side and I want to take this can out this is the sugar syrup, keeps the bees alive. Now I'm going to turn it over because we've got holes in it. I'm going to reach in here and get the queen cage out. Now, what I want to do next is take the queen and check, make sure that she's okay. Set your can on top of the cage. What you want to do right now is make sure your queen is alive. Now, we'll find your queen is right Right there she is, right there. Now, what you want to do, I like to have a safety pin here. Take the cork out of the candy in. I'm dressed for cold weather because 25 degrees, it hasn't warmed up. We are in the afternoon, we are installing packages. Now, you want to save your cork so that if you put in 40 or 50 packages at the end of the day, you will have the right amount of corks. Now, Steve, come on in close here. Normally what I like to do is put the screen down between two frames, just like so, and wedge it in. But I'm altering it now because it's cold. I'm going to set the pack, the little queen cage, upside down. And we've centered our frames. We've got two frames that's drawn out. The reason I'm doing this if you put that queen cage between two frames, you have a narrow space here, and if it drops down to 25 again tomorrow, the space is too narrow, the bees can't keep the queen warm. So, we're going to dump the bees on top of the queen, and if it gets cold, they'll just make a heap over it and keep her warm. Now, you don't want to have to worry about dumping bees. We checked the entrance, we got an entrance open, bang them down, put a little sugar water on, you don't want these bees in the air no more than you have to. All right, Tommy's going to assist me. We got an empty super over the top here. It acts like a funnel. Keeps the bees from rolling over. Bump them down one last time and then dump the bees in. See how those bees go right in? Okay, now Tommy, put the lid on. Put your cage right in front of the hive. Once you do that, then you open up your can of syrup. I'm going to put my hive tool here. Good to have assistance here. You get old, you need assistance. The second shift students, they all they push my wheelchair around. I'm dumping the syrup into our new designed hive top feeders. They're not going to leak. Milk jugs won't leak. Now, the empty syrup that's in here, I set my can to the side, let the bees clean it up, put your lid on. Make sure you got a good fit. Make sure your box is nice and square. Turn this box upside here by your hive. These bees will migrate into the hive. The entrance is reduced. Now that's how you put a packaging in cold weather. Thanks for watching the Fat Bee Man. <laughs>